closer. I'm telling you, the file is trash. The Constant doesn't so much burn his bridges as blow them up. Arthur Edwards, whoever he was, don't exist anymore. His personal data somehow deletes itself from any system that records him. Way beyond advanced. The partners spared no expense to make sure their controller would be untraceable. How untraceable? Look, I did what you asked, but Gray's gone and I'm no Diana. I'm not who you need right now. You gotta be kidding me. I see, eh? I used every encryption known to man. Who are these guys? The best. It's only a matter of time before they get lucky. We need to take them down. <sighs> you and which army? I know where the agency stores its files, mission reports, client data. If we leak it to the public. You want to whistleblow the ICA? It's the path of least resistance. Turns out, you are who I need right now, Olivia. I do this, and I'm out. So, what are we breaking into? Data facility in Chongqing, China. Run by a man called Hush. Of course. The ICA site in Chongqing houses the agency's data storage and analyst division. Needless to say, security is daunting. The state-of-the-art server vault is biometrically wired to the facility's two overseers. Imogen Royce, behavioral analysis pioneer, and Hush, a data security guru with a taste for fringe transhuman experimentation. Tell me about Hush. A former cyber terrorist for the Ministry of State Security in Kedanyang, who fled his country after one of the Po regime's periodic purges. He made a career doing cybersecurity for dark web deplorables. Human traffickers, organ harvesters, scum like him, with no code or conscience. ICA sure can pick him. No offense. Can you disable security? A dual authentication protocol ensures that any handling of data must be directly authorized by Hush and Royce. The proverbial human factor device to make the system impenetrable. Luckily, I found a loophole. If both overseers should unexpectedly die within a short space of time, the system reverts to a temporary fail-safe protocol, which I can bypass. Take them off the board, and you'll have free access to the data core. And I'll handle the rest. And you're sure it'll work? Look, I know, Hush. If I'm wrong, we won't live long enough to regret it. All right. I will leave you to prepare. This city is Big Brother's wet dream with more than 2.5 million cameras covering 15 million people. Privacy is a four-letter word in this place. It's pretty ironic that a cloak and dagger organization like the ICA keeps its most valuable secrets here. You'll find Hush conducting his fringe experiments in an abandoned apartment building. While Imogen Royce, the archivist, runs the day-to-day -day business of the ICA data facility. I just hope you know what you're doing, 47. Can't get back. I can't get it back. Where is it? I don't know where it is. Oh, I, I keep forgetting. If I could just get some quiet. Stop the 
machine thought screaming at me. Constantly screaming in my head. I can't think. I can't think. Think! Don't go in there. They'll steal you. You hear me? Who are you? I don't know who you are. I don't know any of you. You should take several steps away from me. I presume. Hi, I'm Chen Ping. Pleased to meet you. I'll be your guide on the facility tour. Spare me the fucking trip. I've had an awful flight. Nine hours delayed, luggage lost somewhere along the way, and the airline is trying to avoid their responsibility. I'm hungry and I'm tired, and I want to straighten everything out before I'm doing your tour. Yeah, so sorry about your flight. So, someone is here for a tour of the facility. Might be a way to get in. Just let me know when you're ready. Oh, uh, did you bring the P41 we left for you in the apartment? No. I wasn't informed that I should. Oh, very sorry, Mr. Pritchard. We need you to bring the P41 to get the tour. It's procedure. Please pick it up before you come and find me. I'll be waiting by the stairs in the back of the restaurant kitchen. Dying to know what the inside of Penny feels like. You can tell everything about a person by how they keep their room, as far as I'm concerned. I got nothing for you, man.
Pritchard. I've just learned that your plane will be delayed beyond the lifetime of the entry code you received for the facility. For your convenience, we've set up the new code to be 0118 to match the one for the apartment. I hope you enjoy your stay. Hi, Chen Ting here. Mr. Pritchard, I'm just calling to tell you to bring your P41 for the facility tour. Thank you. Mr. Pritchard, I just read your report and share your concerns regarding facility leadership behavior. I fully back your decision to inspect, and I would appreciate updates on your initial findings as they come in. Good job. Oh, you got new menus. I had no idea. Uh, do you still have the... Uh, sorry, what? Right, yeah. Uh, just some sparkling water is mine. So, do you... Oh, <laughs> Here. Yeah, so I'd like to get some soup dumplings. Right, sorry, yeah, with the crab. Uh, and how about some of those... Shit, what are they called? The, the crispy ones? Yes, those. Perfect. You know what? I'll get a double order and uh, a plate of the pork bao buns. Hello, Mr. Pritchard. I've just learned that your plane will be delayed beyond the lifetime of the entry code you received for the facility. For your convenience, we've set up the new code to be 0118 to match the one for the apartment. Hope you enjoy your stay. Hi, Chen Ting here. Mr. Pritchard, I'm just calling to tell you to bring your P41 for the facility tour. Thank you. Mr. Pritchard, I just read your report and share your concerns regarding facility leadership. I fully back your decision to inspect, and I uh, would appreciate updates on your initial findings as they come in. Good job. Uh, let me just sit down. Did you want the booth side or the... Yeah, I, I usually prefer the corner spot, but no, it's, it's fine, it's fine. I don't get up. You learn so much about so, someone from what they keep around. Do you want to talk about real. His room's so clean, you could eat your... Listen, I haven't even... I'm feeling, uh... Whatever you think is very vulnerable on, today. So you uh that was just a business off. trip. To focus the when the kitchen he went straight to the restaurant find your inner self after the nine hour flight close away. your eyes I'll give and the focus your mind day. on a discretion bonus yeah. on the I'll paycheck. give you update sure thing that's what I do that is a calming bonus Thank you. 
Hey there, you can go right in. Hi, Oliver. I write in insisting our guest needs to 241, right? Uh, no exceptions? Yes. No, no. No difficulties I can handle. I won't start a tour unless you've got it. Have a nice yeah, evening, well, sir. I'm telling you to go have a look. Hey, you don't want me to mention your attitude to Roy, do you? Hmm. Good. Oh, God, oh, I don't feel so good. Just glad it's not me! Are you hungry, sir? I'm ready to inspect the facility now. Good. I hope you enjoyed the food. Did you bring the P-41 we left for you in the apartment? Yes. I have everything I need. Good. Let's continue the tour. Continue, you may say. We haven't even started the tour yet. But we have. Without you even noticing it, Mr. Pritchard. Invisibility is the best security there is. You see, the restaurant is in fact a front that let all ICA personnel arrive unseen. Who notices a dumpling cook on his way to work? Dressing the part takes you a long way. ICA guarantees absolute discretion to all clients. We take that promise very seriously, as you will see on all steps of the tour. Let's step inside. Doesn't look like much, does it? Ms. Chen and visitor, welcome. Please report to security desk for visitor sign-in. Will do. I love the facility AI. It's really looking out for us. And we're in. The inside is a self-contained modular build that can be disassembled and removed in less than 12 hours if we are compromised. No trace we will ever hear. I agree. Leaving no trace behind is the only sensible M.O. The outside shell is a building marked for demolition. We've put a hold on it with city planning. A deliberate misplacement of the order. But have people in place to rectify that. At first shift, city construction will move in. Hey, 
Our policy around ICA personnel is that they are a resource, but also a risk. On top of contractual repercussions if breaches occur, we perform detailed vetting on everyone. The first, blunt vetting, is a risk. We have, of course, never had any employees trying to bring unauthorized weapons inside the facility, but we do consider the step important. I'll need to start the setup of your visitor security clearance here, Mr. Pritchard. Could I please have your P-41? Stand there. Check pockets. Probably a lot. They can't seriously think anyone around here is that much of a danger to whatever they've got going on. Maybe I should Thanks. I'll get the procedure started. It'll just be a few moments, so feel free to have a look around. I'll meet you on the other side of the frisk. Naturally, you'll have to be frisked like everyone else. No exception. It's Mr. Pritchard. If you use your camera, you can hack that panel. I, I don't granted. know you well enough for this kind of playful rudeness. Okay. There's no way you're getting through that door 47. It only opens for people with an authentic security clearance. The signal is encrypted. Without a dongle, we can't hack it. Greetings, sir. Sir, I will have to check you if you want to pass, okay? This is just standard procedure. All right. Good job, sir. Thank you. Good, you're here. I've started the security clearance process. It will take a little while since you're covered by the Zero Protocol. All your data will be encrypted and inaccessible without security your authorization. Security protocol overruled. Only Facility AI will use it for ID analysis. Fully anonymized, of course. But we can go a few more steps on the tour while it's validating. ID analysis? What the hell does that mean? Give me a minute. I'll try to find out. As I said, personnel is the greatest asset, but also the greatest risk of the ICA. The work we do here exerts high-level pressure on our employees, and there is no room for mistakes. We perform a daily, multi-layered, full-body scan to guarantee that no employee will act erratically because of PTSD or other mental issues, drug use, physical health issues, external pressure, or moral hesitancy. The scan only takes a few seconds. Come on, it's this way inside. I'm 
sorry, but we can't proceed beyond this room until your security clearance is finalized. So why don't you have a little look around while we wait, Mr. Pritchard? It should be here shortly. Shit. We need to intercept that 47, or the facility AI will blow your cover. Get me into one of those computers and do it fast. You've got 60 seconds before all hell breaks loose. Security protocol overruled. Good, I'm in. And you're safe. That was a close one. Perfect timing. Your clearance just came through. Let's continue. Let's step inside. So, as you see, we are very serious about security. What we protect is, after all, core to all ICA operations. We, and we alone, store all legal work, contracts, target profiles, employee files, contract documentation and validation, and so forth. Furthermore, we handle all current operations, effectuate logistics or personnel and equipment. Our analysts do the client vetting, target profiles, and of course, offer real-time contract support to handlers and operatives. Storage and transmission of sensitive information like that takes constant vigilance to keep safe. We have a team of engineers solely dedicated to that task, and on top of that, we have a dual human authentication process set up. All access and alterations to the source are authenticated by hush and voice through that in- Oh, good. There she is. Hi, Imogen Royce. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Likewise. That's Imogen Royce. Quite the bitch, apparently. Nothing wrong with her look, though. Edgy. After you. This is the blast and EMP shielded call room, the nervous system of the ICA, where we store the past and facilitate the present. In general, only a handful of people can access this room. Hush and myself, plus bodyguards and a chosen few of the engineers. I'm the most likely person to meet in here because I perform a regular physical check-in on the core console as a supplement to the remote authentication procedure. We have a strict routine of daily core maintenance. Part of that procedure is a flash process evaporating all biological matter in the room. You can see Reed through that window. It's her job to initiate the maintenance. Don't worry, we're safe as long as the safety mechanism is engaged. Even if Reed presses the button, the procedure will not happen until we leave the core room. The doors to the core room are all equipped with... <sighs> you know what? Screw this tour. I know why you're really here. Cunning to the chase, I see. Knowledge is power. More importantly, knowledge is opportunity. Let me demonstrate. You have a sixth sense for irregularities. And although Hush's recent behavior has not been reported, it has no doubt brought you here. You do have authority to shut down unwanted efforts, but at heart, you are progressive and not the stickler everyone thinks you are. You have sway with the board, and as I see it, your opinion is now what decides my future and the future of the ICA. So here we go. Imagine this. Having a time schedule on a target with minute details on locations, durations, and purpose. A detailed layout of a target's actions within a defined time frame. That would transform a contract into a surgical dance of precision. No mess, no fuss, low cost. Just how I like it. I've been working on a prediction algorithm based on a combination of big data analysis and micro-targeted surveillance of defining target markers. And my results are astounding. All this state-of-the-art is nothing but heavy old-fashioned machinery compared to what I offer. Analysts preparing detailed files dedicating days, weeks to prepare our contracts, gone. Handlers and analysts supporting our operatives during missions, gone. Teams for cleanup and media manipulation in the rare case something unforeseen does happen, all of it, 
gone. I asked you to imagine that scenario, but what good is imagination when you can see it with your own eyes? I've set up a little demonstration for you. Three employees, unaware that I can accurately predict their behavior. Firing them will result in an already clearly defined reaction. On the top left, we have Sharon Reed, who you saw downstairs. She is a dutiful and trusted employee. If she is to be fired, my algorithm predicts with a certainty of 97.8% that she will finish up her most important tasks before she leaves the building. Specifically, she will press the maintenance button within 11 seconds. Jeremy Bolt, the guard... in the lower left is as tough as nails when on duty but in private he's a real mummy's boy if fired he will immediately call his mother and at her advice seek out who he considers his best friend for support my personal guard as it stands me really well that explains why he's always next to me at lunch at the top right you see alicia reynolds bright and very passionate about her job however also very possessive about her contribution. My prediction is that she will try to disable the work she has done for the ICA. If she's not allowed to enjoy her results, no one is. Specifically, that means she will try to enter the call room and disable the safety mechanism. I'll leave you to consider your choice of who you want me to use for the demonstration. Just let the guard outside the door know when you're ready, and I'll be right back. I will have a closer look. Maybe your project could play a part in the future of the ICA. Just let the guard outside the door know when you're ready, and I'll be right back. Oh, and if you decide to leave the room, a guard will escort you around. Safety protocol. Thought I'd just mention it. She really takes the term guard complex to a whole new level. Sitting in there pulling the strings like that. I think you should take her setup and give it a spin, 47. I see potential if you time it right. Jeremy Bolt, I regret to inform you that Code 41 is now effective for your employment status. Thank you for your service. What? That can't be right. Code 41 is confirmed effective for your employment status. Oh, God. This is not good. This is not good. I, uh, I have to tell you something. I don't know how to say it, really. I mean, I, I can hardly believe it's true myself. Yeah, you were fired. 
I heard something about that. You know? What did you hear? Did I, did I do something wrong? No idea. It just makes no sense. I like it here. I, I put in a real effort. My friends are here. You're here. Yeah, well, I suppose so. There must be some mistake. We'll stay in touch, though, right? You and me. Look, I'm uh, glad you decided to bid on that stuff. It's kind of awkward with you these hours. The Unpredictable. Job. And you know, uh, household but, logistics, but, buying groceries, feed the cat. There's just a lot to see to. Of course. Yeah, but you're my buddy. Let me have your number. Uh, I can never remember my own number. I tell you what, give me yours, and I'll be in touch when I get a free spot in the calendar, huh? Okay, great. Oh, bad enough losing the job. I don't want to lose my best buddy, too. Yeah, hey, bro. I just don't see how Rose does it. She can't possibly guess stuff like that. I told no one about my cat. Well, we're in it now. What there is to know, she knows. Maybe you're right. Privacy is a thing of the past. Buggers when they're not doing the flying the thing. Oh, tell no me about way. it. Never no, I don't see why we can't use an analyst. What? Security, what? Security oh, protocol over the other end of the year. Did you want here? You stress as much as you did. The air is fine. Yeah, why you want you to make up the airport? You need to plug in the air con. You can forget your wallet. Make me quit the bill. I'm not falling for that again. Are you? Could you be any more annoying? Oh, cool. Actually, I'm not so hung up on the Who? Vincent's girlfriend was breaking up with him before he did. Sharon Reed. I regret to inform you that Code 41 is now effective for your employment status. Thank you for your service. Alicia Reynolds. I regret to inform you that Code 41 is now effective for your employment status. Thank you for your service. I'm ready to see Royce now. I'll let her know. The VIP is ready to see you. Wow, you've been busy. It really is mesmerizing to see the precision of the predictions as they play out, so I can't say I blame you. I trust you're convinced by the demonstration and agree that this is the future for the ICA. I mean, how could you not? So, 
You'll probably want to dive into the project documentation and write your recommendations right away. You're free to use my office. I'll tell the guard outside to escort you out of the facility when you're done. I'm looking forward to upscaling my project. Goodbye, Mr. Pritchard. Wait here for the VIP to finish up and then escort him out. Sure thing. Good, that's Imogen Royce down. Take care of Hush and we can get to the core. This way, sir. Let me show you out. Please, sir. You need to come along now. No more dallying. So sore. Why is that? I fell over because a homeless woman suddenly jumped up right in front of me. She was hiding in a hole with cardboard covering her. I nearly stepped right through. Wow. So I was laying there, my knee hurting like hell, and she started yelling something about me stealing her past. What's that about? You saw another one pounding a stone to the pavement. It just kept repeating. How did I get here? I don't understand. <laughs> Is it just me or have they up the crazy lately? They must be held to be. Hi, at least someone is going to talk them out. There goes this building where I've seen them go. I think they're... I'm going to be there. Get the hell out of here. I got this job. I didn't say that I can make a lot of money to be in some experiment. We don't want people like us for that sort of thing. No, they only want people like us. The flyers let go. That means it's too dangerous for rich people. Oh, I'm going. That's got hush written all over it. 
using the Desper for personal gain. Maybe this is a way for you to get to the bastard. This is my... I just need to find out where he's been. The flyer has a symbol I need to play on the page. I don't gotta get an umbrella when I'm rich. Looking good, sir. That flyer they started handing out to the homeless really got them flowing in. Yeah. But it creeps me out how they're different when they leave. Yeah, I'd say they're different when they enter. Come on, you know what I mean. Like, they're not quite there. Some of them in a really bad way. I'd never accept participating in those experiments, no matter how well they pay. No one is asking you to, except the ones who do. Let's get you out of the rain, shall we? We just need to frisk you first. All right there. Sir, I will have to pat you down if you want to come through. Security measures. This'll just take a sec, sir. All right, follow Good job, sir. Thank you. in there. Go take a seat. I change my clothes yeah. all the time. Yeah, I bet you do. It's in there. Go take a seat. They'll get you and the other guys through the sign up. Right? Seek further concentration? Good. Who would you like to benefit from this proceeding if you yourself are incapacitated? Would you excuse me? Hey there, big boy. Oh, so Hush liked the last one I sent up to the top floor. He'll be the one to conclude this case. I knew Hush would be pleased with this. He signed up. The full package. Strong, too, all things considered. I'll wrap up down here. Thanks, Jun Lee. I was just informed that we don't need any more test subjects tonight. I don't understand. There's no work? Oh, no. There will be more to come. Depending on the results of the conclusion to this test phase, Come back tomorrow, and we'll schedule a new spot for you. Come. You there? Get in here and take a seat. Please. I'm sorry to inform you that we have all the test subjects we'll need for tonight. But you're welcome to fill in your information now and come back tomorrow. A guard is waiting outside the door. He'll escort you out of the building when you're done. Help yourself to an apple. Be a trouble. I do need my vitamins. Hey 
This way. Keep up. I need to get you out the bill. Okay. Follow me. Huh? Okay. We don't need any more subjects today. DIY. It's not a hobby, it's a lifestyle. Now, stay on, okay? <laughs> still keep within the acceptable margin for brain damage. I'm not surprised. He is special. Sometimes I forget to see the bigger picture with the long hours and short deadlines, but it really is a privilege to work for someone like him. There is no one else like him. No one. That makes it a true privilege, yes, but also a great responsibility. We must assist him in any way possible. Let's continue. I think you're coming what on a bit strong there.
brilliant. You're in pain, Hush. It isn't safe. You need to rest. Stop interfering with my workflow. Don't you think I know what I need? Well, I do. 